Yo, what's going on guys? It's Decoop back again bringing you guys some more Madden 16 Ultimate Team And today we are here to bring you guys a lineup update Now I got some good news guys My lineup that you currently see on your screen is nowhere near complete So uh, don't bash me too hard at left tackle We are actually going to be playing Walter Jones at my left tackle Now that sucks Because this Andrew Whitworth is not auctionable I cannot sell this card and I complete the Walter Jones set well I almost have I just got to do the solo and uh, that's going to be a big upgrade and right here this guy is a boss like don't get me wrong love me some Rodney Hudson but we're actually going to go ahead and upgrade this to Dawson like the legend Dawson so we're gonna be set at center I want a good running game. That it, it, it is what it is. At right tackle, we're probably going to stay the same. Now, I do need some suggestions for my right guard position. And also, we have Travis Kelsey. I've been thinking about upgrading to the Captain Kelsey. I think he has a Captain card. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, that's pretty embarrassing. But I think he does have a Captain card. Uh, this card is amazing. This card is really good. Now, it actually, with his... Catching traffic, he's actually dropped a few 89, man. I don't know. I don't know. He's dropped a few, like, easy passes for me. But he's a, he's a monster blocker. Just traded for him in fantasy. I got some good news. I'm going to talk about it when we get to the quarterback position. But here we go. So we got my wide receivers. We got Golden Tate. We got Golden Tate. We got Mike Evans. And we got Brandon Cooks. Now, all great receiving options. But I think I might sell Golden Tate. I think I'm going to move Brandon Cooks to the slot. I think I'm going to get two nice receivers. I think I might actually go out and get Joe Horn. We're actually going to look at some receivers. Actually, Joe Horn is probably a lock for my team at this point, saying as I have the collectibles. So we're going to put Cooks in the slot, which means we need another outside receiver. XZ, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about now. We're definitely not going to be playing Mike Evans in the slot. And at the quarterback position, I don't know. I like Andrew Luck. I like Tyrod Taylor. Uh, waiting for some new content to drop. I was actually waiting for some new content to drop to get another running back. Also, uh, I was going to use that Jarek McKinnon at my halfback position. He's good enough. But, yeah, I want some new content to drop. want to bring you guys some fresh, hot, hot, hot gameplay. Just fresh out the oven. So, I mean, we got Andrew Luck, Tyrod Taylor. Now, like I said, I, I'm not sure who I'm going to go with. I might sell Luck. I, I don't know. I might sell both of these guys and just get a, a, a stupid, cheap quarterback. I, I'm not sure what the move is. That's why, that's why we're doing this video. Give me some feedback in the comments. Now, I think Luck sells for more right now. So, that is something to keep in mind. But to get a little off topic, I traded... Who did I trade? I traded Lamar Miller and Matthew Stafford for pretty much Travis Kelsey, Percy Harvin, and Aaron Rodgers. I know, probably not the smartest trade. I think Lamar is going to be like a, a mini Jamal Charles this year. That's probably a slight stretch. <laughs> That's probably a stretch to some people, but that's my opinion. Let me have my opinion. Let, let it be what it is. Uh, Dolphin fans are probably going to love that opinion, but I think he's going to have a stupid year. So, you know, I do think I might regret the trade at some point. And I know Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I know the Packers line, I think, needs to get healthy. Or they've been battling to get healthy. And I also believe, you know, Jordy Nelson's out for the year. Uh, they just signed James Jones. What's that receiving core we're going to look like? You got a big unknown in Devontae Adams. A lot of people hoping he can step up, but... Man, I love me some Aaron Rodgers. You guys know, man. Like, <laughs> right, The guy is amazing. So let, let's talk about this defense for a second, though. We got Levante David. I'm feeling it. We're running a 4-3 now, as uh, as you guys should know. I've been talking about it the past few videos. Levante, stud. We got Devin McCourty at the free safety. 94 zone coverage. What else you need to know? He's not slow like Jarris Bird is for some reason. I mean, Jarris Bird is really slow on this game. Week 1. Football is upon us. I'm so hyped. So, check it out. We got Levante David. 90-something pursuit. I don't have my glasses on. It's very high, though. It looks like a 90. Yeah, I can't really tell. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's 98. 95 play rack and a 97 tackle. He is going to just be all over the place. A great card for a 4-3. I'm actually surprised his overall is this low. And he was, he was that cheap now. So, let's go ahead and look at him. Like I said, Michael Kendricks, man. Absolute stud. And whoa, oh, okay, so this isn't fair. We're comparing him to Derrick Brooks. Now, we could get a look at Derrick Brooks, too, my left outside linebacker. Uh, genius move to do him when the Legends packs were out or the Legends collectibles, you know, were just all over 
the auction house was able to scoop this monster for cheap. You know, nothing too crazy. Yeah, we got this beast though. We got the stud Gilbert Brown, absolute monster. Yo, if he if he is not like the best defensive lineman in the game, I don't even know if he is. But if he doesn't play like a top five lineman, I gotta drive up to like the mutt office, like knock on their door and say, hey, what's going on in here? What's going on in here? Because this doesn't make any sense. Like, look at his ratings. He's stupid good. He's amazing. Also, guys, we got Jerry Hughes, the stud pass rusher for the Buffalo Bills with a 98 finesse move. Now, for some reason in the 4-3, I just don't get a lot of pressure. So I was hoping getting all these studs would help. But in you know, I don't get a lot of pressure, but for some reason, just my overall, my base defense is better. And we're keeping DRC. We got Jimmy Smith. I also need another cornerback now you guys can look at my special teams and it's whatever who really cares about special teams we've got to adjust this anyway now with that being said let's go check out some cornerback all right here we go guys we have the list of cornerbacks and oh my gosh yo this is so expensive i actually thought the cards would be a bit cheaper yo it's good to see that true fonts going for a bit though let me know in the comments who you guys want to see on my team at cornerback i have been i've been checking out this akib talib i missed one for 50k the other day because I was checking his price, like, I I don't know what I would say. Yo, this is it? Wow. So, that Tlaib miss was a gigantic miss. That's a bigger miss than I thought. Damn. <laughs> Y'all stay catching L's. This is disgusting. These are all the cornerbacks in this range. So, I mean, a new content drop is going to be clutch. Gotta hope they get some Team of the Week stuff out soon now. Let's go check out these receivers. Let me know who you guys want to see at cornerback, too. I want to play Trufant in the nickel. I feel like that could be the move. So here we go. Let's check out these receivers. Once I sell Golden Tate, Julio Jones right here. Jordy Nelson going for a decent price. Julio, nah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get this. This is one thing I don't get. This is one thing I do not understand. Okay, well, okay, I'll take the L on that one. I thought Golden Tate was actually a better card than Dez Bryant. Yo, I'll take a stupid L on that one, but uh, they're comparable cards, I guess. You know, somewhat, kind of. But Dez is going for an insane price. But you can find other receivers with comparable ratings to Dez. But because of his name, like, he's going for such a crazy price. And don't get me wrong, big time Dez Bryant fan. Now, we got OBJ. Wow. I wish I, held, I, wish I held on to my OBJ, man. The, the wager I played against Mike, I wish I held on to both of those. They're going for that much now? Oh, my gosh. Yo, I've been playing the market terribly, and these are all the receivers? This is crazy. <laughs> yo, I might need to go throw some cards up right now. It's just looking like a hella slow market. So, with that being said, guys, let me know who you're trying to see on my team in the comments below. Much more Madden 16 coming out soon. Don't miss an episode. Be sure to subscribe. I'm DeCoop. Also, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, guys. Early morning upload. You know how we do. It's time out. So, we take a look at my opponent's team, guys. And without a doubt in my mind, I should definitely have the upper hand. It looks like his draft was nowhere near as good as mine. But you guys know, in pressure situations, sometimes pipes burst. All right. I didn't show you guys the first scene. But Le'Veon is 